Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are playing with everyone's favourite dirty boy, Throt the Unclean, the dirtiest campaign on YouTube. I must eat or something. Uh, so, yes, we're trying to ambush this lass. Uh, I would like to get some more replenishment, but... Uh, oh, yeah, she could easily run into our ambush there. Yeah, she could. We're probably, we're probably going to trigger the ambush this turn, or not, depending on how that goes, but we'll see. Uh, also, if we have a look at Clark Rond, uh, if you guys recall from uh, yesterday's episode. I mean, you might be binging all these, so who knows. Um, hang on a minute. We have... We have the population surplus already. When? How did that happen? Oh, crap. What did we... What have we spent money on? What have we spent money on? Where? Where, 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 where? Let me stop building something so I can build this other thing that I want to build. Okay, I can't see to build anything. Our income is just crap all of a sudden. I'm sure we had better income than this. Oh. I got a bunch of rats, that's why. I got a billion rat ogres. Okay, fine. We go to the next turn. Uh, fight that, probably. And we'll see how that goes. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was going to be all like, oh yeah, so we're going to be real good and we'll, we'll get the thing upgraded as quickly as we can. Because we want exotic animals for this, 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 this. No, this in here, obviously. Whip of Domination. Exotic animals. We can only get them from Clark Frond. Well, so far anyway. I'm sure that we we could have just sailed across the world, honestly. But we need to get the lairs of Clark Frond. That's what we need for this quest. And I want to do the quests because they're quest battles. And I'd like to do his sort of, um, you know, Throt's uh, sort of personal quest lines before we do the main story stuff. Because once we've defeated, uh, you know, these guys, the, 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 what do you call it again? Heralds of Ariel. That's the one. Once we defeated them, and we've done the quest battle, to eat Air, pardon me, to eat Ariel, then we're done, right? So we want to finish everything else first. And right now, there's not much else to do. Clarex Spire is the last thing we need to topple. That's the last waystone that needs uh, needs crunching. So yeah, we need those exotic animals, guys. And what did I do? Spent all my money when I could have actually built the building that would be the precursor to the building that we need to be building. Grr. Classic Janet. Also, they didn't trigger our ambush, but it's a close one, that's for sure. Blimey. So, Mung got destroyed. Poor Mung. I don't know where we're going to get Mung beans from anymore. I presume that Mung beans are a sort of bean, and I haven't imagined it. Um, so anyway, practiced goaders. Uh, treat your mean. Keep them keen. Terrible advice. Just be good to people, guys. Uh, don't, don't treat anyone mean to keep them keen. Uh, if you think that's good advice, then uh, you're going to be lonely. That simple. That simple. Don't take that advice. It's terrible advice. So, uh, Circle of Destruction, huh? Hello, Circle of Destruction. I'd love to do upgrades on you, but I need to get them for Clark around, but I have no money. We're going to have to bleed the money out of these little sods. So what we're going to do, we have plenty of movement, so we have plenty of opportunities to try and trigger our ambush. We got it first time. So if you guys didn't know uh, what you can do, if you've got plenty of movement, is because uh, Skaven have a chance of just triggering an ambush when attacking someone, like normally. You can do that, and if it doesn't work the first time, you can actually retreat and then attack them again and see if it triggers. Because it's a different calculation every time. Um, you know, it rolls the dice every time you do it. So, if you have a bunch of movement, you know, if you start a turn really close to someone, you can just keep attacking them back and forth until you get an ambush. It's real cheesy. It is real cheesy. There's no excuse for it. But, if that's how you wanted to play, that's how you can play. So, let's fight the battle. Okay, so, obviously, we need to get our goon squad together. Uh, so there's going to be a bunch of Waywatchers in the middle. Those are all blade singers. Uh, cavalry, including great stag knights that are quite scary, and the zotes that are quite sturdy. I think we'll go for the zotes first, you know. And uh, I'm actually going to have the hell pit come along for the ride. They're going to go straight for the zotes. I'm actually going to keep my teeth breakers up here. Uh, and yeah, Warlock Engineer is going to go over here with all my rat ogres. That's what I'm going to do. And yeah, we're going to have rats here as... Mm, actually, I wonder. Let's get rats here. They might be able to get on top of some of that cavalry. And for the most part... Yeah, I'm tempted just to throw my storm vermin in from this way and them in from the other, but maybe 
Just maybe. Mm, I don't want to throw infantry here and have them murdered by blade singers. That's the problem. Dunno. Dunno. We'll figure something out. Alright, so you run in there. You go for the zotes. You just run forwards, honestly. You just run straight in like that. Uh, you go for the glade riders. And you lot start heading this way. So this is problematic, of course. This is problematic. Let's stop him from being able to move. See if we can't catch up to him a bit. And this is nice how they're all just penning themselves in like this. Uh, and now you guys can actually choose a target. If you so desire. Come on, guys. Come on. City boys. Uh, right. Let's throw some rats on top of all of this lot. Excellent. And, okay, putting... Putting our rattling gunners on this side didn't help us much, I don't think. Let's bog them down. These guys are totally crushing it. This is a real problem. We're doing terribly over here. We need to get our big boys over here. Okay. Uh, let's... Yeah, bonus versus large for everyone. Stand your ground. Let's start throwing some rat ogres down. Okay, good. You continue to move up. We have our doggos. Get into all that cavalry, please. Yeah, you guys need to just keep charging that way, I'm afraid. Okay, good. How are things looking in here? It's a, it's a big old mess. It's a big old mess. Let's buff something. Alright, let's get our big boys out and about, because we need to get in over here and deal with these guys. This is a real problem. This is a real problem. We need to get rid of these blade singers. They're going to kill so many of our boys. And we can't have that. Uh, got what group are you in now? Five? Jeez, alright, five. Rude much. Okay, that's looking good. But yeah, council guard, we may lose. We may lose the council guard. And I can't, I can't use that on you. Oh god. What rat ogres could benefit from this? You know, I can't see any that would benefit. Maybe the summoned ones. But what would be the point of that? Okay. Okay. We were chasing him down, but... Much point to that? Probably not. Okay, you start running away. And uh, let's get you guys in here. Uh, where is our... Spellcaster? There's Obsythe. How are you lot doing? What, what are all you lot doing? Alright, come on boys. Come over here. Can help kill the Blade Singers. I was hoping you guys would be killing the Blade Singers to begin with, if I'm honest. This didn't seem to work out that way. Alright, we got army losses yet? Seems like it. Okay, good. That was quite frantic. Good fun. Good fun. So yeah, lots of damage. Nom 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 nom. Close victory. Yeah, the AI actually did quite a good job of separating its units in a clever way. Which you rarely see. You rarely see that. But they did make sure to get the, uh, the spearmen and like the zotes and that lark and the dragon all over to my rat ogres and uh, yeah, just bogged the rat ogres down while their blade singers went for all my infantry. It was very, very clever. But we've got a disgusting, horrible army that's just not even funny, so, <laughs> so uh, you know. We're going to eat the characters. Let's get some health back. But yeah, mistakes don't really matter too much with this army, it seems. Verminous Valor, yes please. I wanted that for a while. And for you, Obsythe, what should we get for you? Um, oh, I don't know. Extra ammo for the for the army. I like that. That's quite nice. And now let's kill you again. Now, please don't die, Council Guard. We lost our Council Guard. Of course we did. Of course we did. I knew that would happen. I even said it. Just classic. Classic Warhammer. Right, you there. My boy, what should we get? Um, we can get Morskitar's Hellion. So let's get that. We have a mutant rat ogre now. I mean, we also have some over here, but it's a different one. So yes, these this is quite difficult. They're in different armies for me to really gauge, you know, to sort of show both of them. But anyway, uh, Frenzy, it calls Terror, good armor piercing. And uh, great charge bonus as well, though a lot of that is down to campaign buffs, but generally quite good charge bonus. So physical resist there at 20. Siege attacker, so, you know, they can lead the charge. And, um, yeah, Frenzy, they got the Clan Molder thing, of course. 
So yeah, they're pretty good. And then uh, the Red of Renown, yep, he's got this. So he's also got um, Zap, which puts up ability recharge for enemies. So if you get them on a Lord or Hero, you'll stop them being able to use their, you know, their um, abilities or spells or whatever else, which is very cool. And they've also got this Vortex, which is, um, it does it around themselves. So the target is self, so it's just everything around the, uh, you know, Morse Guitar's Hellion gets hit by that. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I'd forgotten about uh, I'd forgotten about the warp thingy. What's it? The the um, the zap. I do like that. It's nice to see that on another unit actually. Because obviously on Ikit Zap Zap, you know the the warp lightning cannon regiment renown. But like that's the only thing that has that ability. It's nice to see it on something else. I think because it's an interesting ability. But it's nice that it's on something a bit more direct, uh, which I like. I've said I like it a lot. I do. I do, guys. I do. So wound maker sounds good. Let's have him hit harder. And for you, yeah, wound maker as well. Why not? Also, my mouse is sticking again. Why do you do this, mouse? It's very annoying. If I just sort of throw it around a bit, it seems okay. Like, there's no hair in it, as far as I can tell. But, like, sometimes I'll move it slightly to one side and it won't do anything. So there we go. I'll move it slightly to one side and it just, yeah, it doesn't care. So it's, yeah, annoying. I hate it. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. So, what shall we do now? Daldrak's Lair? Oh, Clark are on. Finally gets his upgrade. Wouldn't it have been so funny if I'd just not done that again. Funny is a word for it. Could be funny. Might not be agonizing. Could be agonizing too. Things can be funny and agonizing. They can be. They can be. That's science. Uh, okay, so... Let's make sure, sure you've got 50 movement left. I do actually want to start moving Strick the Corrupted down here. Uh, even though it's probably a terrible idea having him head down this way. Yeah, are we trading with you? No, we're not. It's just a non-aggression patch. Should I stab Alyssa in the back then? Might be a fun warm-up. I mean, it's basically nothing but Dread Spears, which normally would just be laughable, but actually Dread Spears are a really nice cheap way to combat Rat Ogres, because Rat Ogres have almost no armor. So you don't really need much to stop them. Um, obviously we do have a bunch of weird mutations and things too, but still. Anyway, right, throw the unclean. You're just going to stay there, okay? You just you just hang out there a minute. Then we'll attack Clarex Spire. All right, then. Clarex Spire. We can't reach it in one turn, but we can reach it in two turns. And that's almost the same. Sort of. So yeah, shall I? Shall I attack these guys? I, I think they genuinely could kick the crap out of me if I decided to, so... Because um, it's just such a terrible army for it. It really is. It's okay. Uh, I just realized we're not actually at war with the Sisters of Twilight, somehow. How are we not at war with you? Okay, this army I think could kick the crap out of me. Because it really is just the Rat Ogres. Um, that are half decent in this army. I mean, what do you even have? Did I give you... He has Warp Lightning, that's it. That's all he's got. I haven't even given any spells yet. Death Frenzy would be quite fun to stick on some uh, some Skaven Slaves and see how they do. But yeah, we should declare war on the Sister Twilight so they can actually get involved. You know, so we can start fighting them a bit. It'd be quite nice to tear down their tree before we um, fought Ariel. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, settlement upgrade available. Always. Yeah, alright, sure. You, you go nuts. I know, come on. There we go. Mouse is sticking again. Guru. Right. Moving on. 13 ways to die. Huh. I don't remember ever getting this event, but uh, maybe maybe I have. Maybe once I read it, I'll recognize it. 13 ways to die. The Council of 13 has decreed that the Warlock Engineers must step up their research efforts on pain of death. Yes, yes. A breathtaking grisly list of execution methods has been circulated, each devised by the 12 Earthbound Council members, the 13th being simply a sacrifice to the Horned Rat. Unsurprisingly, your research rate has increased, Max and wide. Double research rates, that's fun. That's very fun. Uh, so, last... That's the last waystone, guys. The last waystone. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, okay, what are we doing? I would like to build some stuff first. Uh, you know, tick some boxes. Although, now I'm thinking we don't want to do that, because actually, how much money do we need? 6,900. That's quite a lot of cash, and we don't have that much money. So I think from now on, we have to spend nothing. Uh, so you, my boy, what can I get you? Yeah, more arms dealer. Why the heck not? 
could get Scorch, but I can't be bothered to use Scorch. Alright. Yes, harvest organs. Delicious, delicious organs. Uh, so this shouldn't be too, too bad. It looks fairly even, which means it should be um, a walk in the park. They don't really have any armor piercing here, so our... Yeah, I mean, they have the one unit blade taker, sure. But yeah, our storm vermin should be able to deal with basically all of this anyway. Um, and the hounds on the way watchers, obviously, etc. You know the drill. Okay, so what do we want? We want our brood horrors. And maybe our, our Morskitter's Hellion. Let's take a look at him. Look at this big boy. Isn't he terrifying? With that, like, insane warp-infused... Uh, claw. Claw, claw. It's a, it's a claw. Uh, also, the ludicrous amount of warp stones sticking out of him is um, pretty horrible. Although I find, uh, I find as an addition, uh, the mutant rat ogres are a bit of a weird one. Because it's essentially just like... A hero version of the character of um, uh, Gorridge. That's essentially what it is. It's sort of like reverse engineered from something else. Because like all rat ogres are mutants. You know? They're all engineered. They're all sort of built to be like that. So really it's just sort of like a rat ogre but more. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one. I mean let's, let's compare him. So here he is. See it's just rat ogre but more. But like a lot more. He's a big boy. A very big boy. So, anyway. Let's... So what's his speed, anyway? 77. Which is a heck of a lot. But also, not actually that much, because we've got 100 speed on all these guys, which is just disgusting. Uh, oh, except you! Conrad Scuttle only has 95 speed. I didn't realise he was so slow. <laughs> not even that slow. Uh, anyway. Let's get all of our rat ogres. In a big old line. Uh, we've got our hounds... And yeah, let's let's have these on one side. Cool. And uh, storm vermin, you guys just hang out in the middle. It's all good. Uh, you in the middle too, along with you, and you guys other end. That'll do. All right, get stuck in, boys. Get stuck in. Okay, that's annoying, but sure. Flying units would be on the other end, wouldn't they? Of course they would. Is that Blade Singers or War Dancers? Just War Dancers. Eh, nothing fancy then. Alright, you lot. Uh, let's go for those War Dancers, I guess. You know what? No, let's just go for that Spell Weaver. She's nearly dead. So let's go straight for her. She's already been injured. Alright, well, that's a problem. Can you not? Rude. Okay, so we should be drawing a lot of their fire here. So yeah, go straight for the Way Watchers. Let's throw a bunch of units all on top of them. Verminous Valor, because that's always a laugh. Uh, where is our other summony boy? Here we go. So yeah, just all kinds of nonsense. It's great to see. Alright, you heading that way. Alright, you better turn around, mate. Alright, War Dancers, try and smash them too. So we've, we've been suffered a bit of damage here. Like, a lot of our units are fleeing, but that was a great cover for our main bulk to run in. And, oh, and yeah, we've dealt with most of the Way Watchers by the looks of it. Or have we? No, it's still in there. Oh, and over here. Oh, cheeky sods. Well, fair enough. Points for effort, I guess. Okay. Come on, boys. Let's, uh... Yeah, here we go. Here are those Demon Scouts. And... Okay, I think we're good. I think we're doing rather well. Uh, let's buff... Throt the Unclean. He can buff himself. And I'll spawn behind as well. And go for those Waywatchers. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And... Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, honestly. There's a lot of units that are just sort of sat around I don't really know what to do with. Um, Alright, now let's just melt a bunch of them. And then we'll probably buff a bunch of our units with a death frenzy, because we can. I've been barely using magic in this campaign. <laughs> I've been really lax with it. It's just not really been a concern. 
As my spear is doing rather well with the Hawk Rider support, which I'm not happy about. Uh, now this is this is an opportunity. Let's kill the spell weaver. I was hoping to kill that spell weaver at some point, and then things went a bit awry. So you guys head that way. You've so far done nothing. That's fine, honestly. But yeah, we do need to help out those storm vermin. Azrai spears are pretty good against storm vermin. You actually start running. Good boys. Good boys. Uh, all right, let's charge them. And bones versus large. Remolded. I don't know what to use that on. Those rat ogres, I suppose. I know those Azrai spears have had enough. So never mind. Never mind. That's uh, the last waystone. Toppled, guys. The last waystone toppled. Now where's that ridiculous rat ogre? There he is. There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. He looks like a, he looks more like a yeti. I don't know if that's intentional. They wanted it to look, sort of, be a, a sort of, um, sort of a, an additional propagator for like the Yeti myth in Warhammer. You know, the idea that there's actually rat ogres running around up in the north and help it. You know, well around help it. That would be quite funny if that was their intention. It could be. You never know. You never know. All right, so that was, uh, again, you know, pretty pretty standard for this army by now. Uh, loot and occupy? Yes, we will. So, extra armor for Skaven weapon teams. That's not particularly useful right now. And, uh, yeah, Sestershal got destroyed. The Witchwood is sending a retaliatory strike, as they always do. There it is. Ooh, are you going to attack Srik? Instead, that could be interesting. Should we have you ambush here instead? Let's see what are your chances. Not great, actually. It's not a great ambush chance here. Um, I wonder if this certainly not. O Othiodi here. I don't know if they're actually going to go for the nearest thing, or if they're just going to make a beeline straight for Cleric Spire, because they do seem to go straight for the like wherever you took, you know, whatever you took from them. But we haven't really had anything en route before, so it's hard to know if they will get distracted by something if they see it. So, um, let's ambush for now. Probably get spotted by something around here, so I'm not sure how successful that's going to be, but we'll see. We'll see. If we get attacked, then, yeah, it could be a tough little battle. We'll see. Might lose that army. Which, you know, we wouldn't put in this risk if we cared about it, honestly, but charging it in like this, I knew the risks. And I could still just wander off, so, you know. Before you give me all the reasons why I needn't have lost that army <laughs> preemptively before I may lose that army. We'll see. But I'm totally happy with it um, suffering. Hang on a minute. We were going to not build a bunch of stuff. So maybe I should actually stick with that. So there we go. Let's do that. I want to make sure we got enough of that building. Oh, we will upgrade the port though because that's very cheap. Uh, to Well, repair the port rather than upgrade. We will repair that because that's nice and cheap. And it'll earn us some cash. So, uh, Trixie or Sneaky. Actually, I want Deadly Onslaught, don't I? Let's get Woundmaker. God, he hits hard these days. I really like Throt. He's a fun, he's a fun character. Opportunist. Good. Good stuff. There's no way to make you faster, is there? There really isn't. That's really quite sad. Uh, give them Mask of E. That does nothing. Potion of Speed does make him quicker. But I always forget to proc that. We have so many abilities in our army. Um, Scarm might be nice to have so he can heal if he does get a bit caught out because I'd hate for him to get killed by anything and alright sure weapon team units can get more armor that'll be very useful for our one unit of teeth breakers it's gonna be great so moving on okay so yeah they saw us <laughs> our ambush was foiled they came straight for us um, yeah I don't know actually I think with cycle charging, my rat ogres might do okay. This he was really going to be dealing with these wild uh, riders nice and early, but then we do have the wolf rats. Oh, but they're the armor-piercing ones. Oh no, we got one with poison, but generally it'd be better if they were all poison. And the mutant rat ogres are pretty good. I mean, we might be able to deal with this, maybe, but it preferably would be us doing the ambush. So let's retreat. They might be able to catch us. Oh, they couldn't. Okay, cool. In that case, now that we've done that, let's attack them and see if we can't get that ambush. 
And we got the ambush. This is still pretty terrible. We might not win this just because, well, Blade Singers, they have a lot of them and they're good units. But we did get the ambush, so we might be able to break these guys a little quicker than uh, our enemies would like. So we are going to give it a go. This is going to be very bad for Srik, for poor old Srik, but I think it's going to be fun, so we're doing it. Okay, brilliant. So this guy has 15 mutations, I just realised. 15. Explosive instability. Okay, that's hilarious. He can just run in and blow up. Yes, please. <laughs> that's so good. If engaged in melee, he's going to explode. How? How has this never happened with this army before? I guess it just doesn't happen in auto-resolve. Does anyone else have it? No, no one else has it. Oh, that's a shame. That's actually a real shame. But yeah, we'll send them in. We'll send them in, just on their own. That's perfect. And, uh, yeah, everyone else, we're just going to have charge in the same way. We're going to blob them all up. And we're going to let these guys blob up as they run down this way. And it's going to be great. You know what, actually? Maybe I want to try and get to these wild riders and things with them instead. Because, yeah, we're going to have a billion warp lightnings that we're going to use to smash them into little bits. And do we really want to be this dense? If they are clever enough to start getting some rear charges and things on us, then this could be real, real bad, real quickly. But we'll see. We will see. <laughs> Look at this army. It's disgusting. Okay, they're running. That's fine. Uh, are you guys coming for me? No, don't do it. Alright, I guess we're blowing up these oats. Ah, oh, see, I did figure it wouldn't do much against, um, against those kind of units. But actually, I'm thinking it might not do much at all. I'm thinking explosive instability could just be that it's had too much, there's too much attached and now it's just going to die. And that's just how that works when you have too many points of instability could genuinely be that. Why are they still trying to avoid us? I find that really weird. Very strange. Okay. Uh, so the Zodes are getting killed, albeit incredibly slowly. Alright. Uh, that was a weird charge by our wolf rats there. And now nothing's happening over here. What are you doing? Go attack. That's why I was only blob up too much. All our units get confused. Like, what are these guys doing? Do they want to get into a fight or not? I can't even tell. Well, we got rid of them anyway. Okay, you lot. Okay, continue to move. Now, where is our lord? He's not over there, is he? He's over here. Alright, fine. No, you keep hitting them. It's all good. Weird, thin line. I'm not sure how that happened. I'm really not. Okay. Now everyone, get stuck in. Uh, I guess I'll just keep throwing random enemies on top of everybody, because we can. And yep, we're just going to have to keep hitting them with warp lightning. This is going to take some doing. There's a lot of enemies in here. They are getting whittled down pretty quickly, though. Oh, Mutant Rat Ogre. He's, he's in the thick of things. Alright, you chase them down, yeah? Maybe you should run. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Maybe just run at them. We'll see. You'll probably die. I don't, I don't really mind. Okay, come on. Oh, and you apparently, you're getting, I don't know why you're getting out of the fight. This is very strange. Mutant Rat Ogre, you can go for the Glade Lord. Uh. Alright, more of that, please. Yeah, I don't think this is going very well. It is really hard to tell, though, because this is just a mess. <laughs> Absolute mess. Just like a cracked cool or something would be nice here. Even Scorch would actually be pretty good here. Zotes are a problem. Uh, oh, Mutant Rat Ogre back there. Having some difficulties. How are you lot doing? Fine, I guess. Alright, go chase down those stupid scares. Thanks. And now, another Warp Lightning. Uh, right in the middle. That looks meaty. Filled with meaty elven chunks. Good. How many kills you're on? Over 100, so... 
They're doing all right. Oh, no way. Mutant rat eggs are in trouble. Oh, shattered. Well, they got away. That's the main thing. Oh, God. Okay, well, you guys need to run away again. All right. You're not doing good. Sort of. Now what? Here, I suppose. Still a lot of blade singers in this bunch. Yeah, I think this army's gonna die. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. It's such a mess. <laughs> wow. How many kills? 150 for our lord, though. That's really good. Alright, go for those wild riders if you would be so kind. And yeah, a lot of our rat ogres are starting to buckle over here, huh? Oh, that's no good. Alright, now don't buckle just yet. I need more kills over here. Mutant Rat Ogre, not getting as many kills as I'd like. And those Blade Singers are totally fine. And our Hounds ran away. So we definitely lost this battle. Definitely. Yeah, there's, there's army losses. That's fine, though. Alright, there you go, lads. There's a good ambush. There's a good ambush, guys. Uh, no, army losses not happening yet. Come on, guys. Let's call that a day, yeah? Okay, you, you run away. Can you? Don't need to keep this up. We can we can just leave. Hey, okay, come on. Everybody run. Okay, everybody withdraw. Come on, boys. Okay, stop rallying and withdraw. Go on. You withdraw. Come on, boys. Oh my god, more guys rallying. Stop it. Run away. I'm telling you to run. Actively. And you. And you. You heard me. Everybody withdraw. Come on, guys. Come on, while your model counts are still somewhat okay. Okay, army losses. Good boys. Yeah, everyone, everyone out. I know. The elves. I know. They were scary. Aw, I know. He has a horrible face. He's missing all the skin on his face. Okay, let's go pet a different one. Oh. Valiant defeat. Hooray. See, that actually did better than uh, than I thought it would. Genuinely. I, I, I knew this army wasn't going to win. But yeah, we did some good work. You know, we killed some pretty scary units there. Didn't wipe him out completely, but I don't think this guy is going to stick around long enough to get any replenishment from anything. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. No, no. Alright, so now... Ooh, see, this is a problem. Because now I don't think I can get far enough away to be able to get into our own territory again. I mean, that's, that's what I was saying. I don't think it's possible. God, these guys just... Anyway, let's try and run. I have a feet. Oh my god, she can't quite reach. Okay, looks like we can escape. That's hilarious. So we did all that work, and now we're just going to run away and just get our units back, and it's not really going to have changed anything. Bonus versus infantry, plus five for wolf rats. That would have been very, very nice to have, actually. That would have been very nice to have in that last battle. Anyway, devouring their way to domination over the lesser litter mains. The fix of the brood are always a packmaster's preferred choice. Gold sigil sword. This golden sword gifts his user with foresight and speed in combat that no mortal thing thing should ever have. Uh, good. Good job. It's not a very scaveny sword, that. It's not a very scaveny item. Anyway, let's get over here and kill a tree. That's just, it's just going to be a whole stack of heroes there, isn't it? Probably. So yeah, we're going to start butchering these guys. Uh, how are you doing, Clark? Are on two more turns, and then we can start the five-turn countdown to getting what we want. Ah, oh, that feels good. That feels good. Are you at war with the Sister Twilight? You are. You are, Alyssa. You could help me out here. You could help me out. Sister Twilight? Yeah, they've moved to Temple of Adioth. Uh, so that's good. I like that. Research, research, research. Not much research done so far. Um... Lower upkeep for Skaven Slaves. Yay! Um, that helps Chieftains out, which we haven't got any of yet. We still haven't got any. Which is a genuine pity that we don't have any yet. Can we get one? Can we get one, just so we've had one? 
We can get a chieftain. So, um, sharp teeth, strider. It's kind of cool. Let's get that. Let's take a look at him. So, Infectic Ring Wretch. Cool name. I like him. So, that's our uh, that's our chieftain, brand new, which is why I'm going over this. So, uh, Bone Breaker mount, which is very cool actually. So, basically, the chieftain is just the is the hero version of the warlord. He's just a melee fighter. Um, so it's quite it's quite boring, you know. He's, he's not particularly interesting. It's not like the pack master's got a bunch of summons and stuff. Like, nah. This uh, this guy's just he's someone you'll run in and will be able to bully things. So he does have a uh, fickle guardian and loyal guardian, which I think is really fun. So it's his own take on guardian. So uh, if you guys aren't aware, the ability guardian gives like a ten percent ward save if you're nearby. Um, so the idea is well, ten percent ward save to specifically your lord. So it's, it's kind of like that's the bodyguard for the Lord, right? Which is kind of cool. I like that as a thing. But this one depends on how their hit points are, which I think is really funny. So if you've got higher than 50% hit points, then you'll bestow this 15% physical resistance. Um, oh, sorry, this is the other way around. Fickle Guardian, it's 15% physical resistance to yourself. But if you're over 50%, then you give 15% physical resistance to your ally. So if you're healthy you'll bother to help out the person you're charged with helping. But once you get injured, then, um, well, screw that guy. <laughs> it's every man for himself. Which is, you know, a much more scaven interpretation of it. But also, it's physical resist. So magic damage is going to ignore that. Whereas normally, Guardian is a ward save. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they're their own one. It is a better bonus, though. 15% instead of 10. But then it doesn't always happen. But then they get defense themselves, which is quite good. So if you're just using them to duel, then they're going to get that too. In fact, we should look at their skills a little bit too. So, uh, their main ones here. So you can see, obviously, the Bone Breaker mount. Um, Bread Leader gives them uh, better leader ownership size. So they can encourage people. Paranoid Defender gives them Verminous Valor, which is quite nice to have that sort of taken out of the normal, you know, chain here. So it actually means they can get Foe Seeker um, as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so extra speed, leadership, we've got the explosion, but ambush uh, defense chances. So bodyguard stuff. Suspiciously loyal. So on turn, the Lord has a chance for their loyalty to go up. And uh, extra ward save for the accompanying Lord, which is pretty good. And power grab, <laughs> which is actually pretty damn cool as a thing. Again, very Skaven, this one. If your Lord has been killed, then you get a map-wide plus eight leadership. So if your Lord is killed, then the rest of the army just isn't as uh, shaken by it because this guy suddenly takes charge, which is amazing. So suspiciously loyal. He's only loyal until... That person dies and then they take command of everything, which uh, is very Skaven. So quite cool. You know, some nice little um, sort of uh, very law friendly sort of specific things. But again, it's a, it's a melee lord. It's not it's not as interesting as the pack master. Um, certainly for this campaign with all the Mulder bonuses. But it is cool that we have a, a Skaven chieftain now. So just another hero pick is really nice. Uh, right. I don't want to spend any money yet. I don't want to spend any money yet. We're going to wait. So, let's get to the next turn. Uh, no, not spending any money. I already said that. And we got another Growth of that batch available. That's good. Uh, so we are just going to use it straight away. We'll get some mutagen uh, straight away. So we're going to spend that on our, uh, on our rats here. So what are we going to want? So we got, yeah, we got Hideous Disfigurement for you. Now we could actually get a second brain, so he gets Death Frenzy bound, which I don't know if he'll ever get around to using it. Uh, but it'll also get encouraged, which is quite cool. In fact, I should probably give that to someone in the middle here. Um, so yeah, nasty inbreed. But yeah, second brain to give encourage. And then it means I can give a bunch of people Necro Parasites. So I think Necro Parasites for like a big heal that puts their model count up, I think that's more useful for anti-large units. Because if they're fighting like large units, those large things are more likely to kill a model in a, like a single hit, whereas regeneration is much better for frontline fighters like the Storm Vermin with you know sword and board because they stay in sustained combat for a lot, um, you know against other infantry. So they get hit multiple times before they die. So just being able to heal between those times they get hit, that's much better. But for these two, I reckon Necro Parasites are the way to go. It is very expensive though, my word. Okay, well we'll give it to you because you don't have anything just yet. So that's fun. And then um, I give him better bonus versus large, because I want to unlock this, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, this is insane. We could, if if we were clever, right, if we were clever and saved up a bunch of mutagen, this is, I guess, why you'd want to save it up. But if we were clever and saved up a bunch of it, 
um, then we could just get this before doing the last battle. So it's like, yep, everyone will be super murdery. I don't care about the casualty replenishment rate. We'll just be super murdery for that one battle and then call it a day, which I think would be quite funny. Uh, although, although the annoying thing here is we actually need to get this one if we want to get the last two. So we do need to give that to something. So maybe just a slave we'll give that and doom them forever. Uh, it would be quite nice to get some more of these ones too. So yeah, this is one thing that I think is a bit disappointing. Like, we've been doing the, uh, like, collecting mutagen quite often, but we haven't unlocked all of the, like, mutations yet, and we're pretty much ready to finish the campaign, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, extra food. I spent a bunch of money. I didn't really want to, did I? No, my plan was to not spend a bunch of money. Why do I do these things? We have one turn. Well, we're gonna fight someone, probably. So we're fine. It'll be fine. Maybe. Uh, I can't see where the border is, but... Oh, we can get home. Cool. Okay, so we didn't lose this army. Hooray. Good job. Good job. Okay, now... Uh, this is an insane thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is an insane thing to do. And, oh god, Sister Twilight right here. They just took out Alyssa, I think. And there's that other Wood Elf army. But yeah. Yeah, Sister Twilight just knackered Alyssa. All right, so we can actually come here and, and take out this army pretty easily, I reckon. And then uh, Sister Twilight will attack us. So that's perfect. So, let's do this now. And this, you know, them retaliating, we'll probably have to wait till next episode, I'm afraid. But it's nice that we're finally at war with the people who we're, you know, we've decided are we're going to destroy, right? They're the, they're the whole point of this campaign, and we're finally at war with them. It's weird that we hadn't been at war with them yet. But it's also kind of nice, because it means that it leaves the Sisters of Twilight till the end of the campaign. But we're already fighting a bunch of different Wood Elves and things. It's all part of the same same sort of expeditions, right? It's all part of the same cause. But it means that the boss is at the end, which is actually kind of nice. A lot of sort of versus campaigns, you often wipe out the person you're supposed to be finding. You know, in the first few turns, and then there's not really anywhere to go from there. Which is a bit sad, really. Um, but yeah, this is nice. This is nice. It leaves them as a boss fight. So, let's fight this. Okay, so. Let's go with these two and these two. You guys hang in the back. You guys know the drill by now. It's the same setup we always do. Uh, so there is actually, you know, we'd have to attack a narrower point here, which is interesting. Uh, do, we, do we just split up and charge down both. We just split everything up evenly, or at least mostly evenly. I think maybe we do. I think maybe we do. Get our hounds out of the way, though. Uh, they're going to go as a pack, as always, though. And I guess the hell pit. Oh, well, one could have more guitars and one can have the hell pit. You lot could just hang back. And I just realised that we didn't move the storm vermin particularly well, did we? Is that right? Okay, that did work. Okay, so I'll have that. I'll have that. And then we got the hounds. Okay, that worked out pretty well. That's a pretty good split, isn't it? Alright, cool. So, you guys charge there. You guys charge there. And uh, we'll just charge in with all of them as well, as normal. You know what we're like. Okay, good. Good stuff. Uh, so, what just threw an arrow at Kernos at us? Was that you? Not Glade Rider Spears. No, it was this... Was it the Glade Captain that did that? It looked like it came from over here. It could be a Waystalker stood there as well, though. Just hidden. Oh, seems to be one over here too. They're everywhere. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, let's see. Boop. And boop. Come on, boys. Come along. Oof. Scary monsters. Weird monsters with pointy ears. Not normal fairy folk <laughs> like us. No. Scary monsters. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get some uh, Matt Ogres there too. Get a bonus. Do the bonus versus large. Remolded on um, on him. Lovely. Verminous Valor. That's always a fun trick. Okay. Uh, you guys getting involved yet? Getting there. Getting there. Taking some time though. Come on, boys. In you get. In you get. Okay, so... 
Anything else we can do? Uh, oh, we can use Skarm, can't we? Add some melee defense to somebody. Melee attack, rather. Do a Throt. You can, you can kill their lord. That sounds about right. Good. You can start shooting the tree singer. Yeah, you guys having a good time? Love it. Yeah, you guys just keep chasing that, uh, that those glade riders. They are slightly slower than you. Slightly. Slightly. Thank God they're not hagbane tips, or they would actually be... Um, <laughs> they would actually be quicker once they'd hit you with a couple of arrows. Alright, so we've lost some of the summoned. Oh, okay, that's looking quite good. We lost some of the summoned rat ogres, but we have others. Good, you go into there. Yeah, just start chasing these guys down. Perfect. And yeah, that branch wraith will get killed eventually. And that's quick enough for me. Alright, you run downhill. Oh, wow, yeah. We'll have to heal, I guess. Nice. Good times. Uh, Alright, you double back. And oh, that was some of our hounds that had died because they ran out of time. They always have such, like. Yeah, they just sort of die in formation. It's very sad to see them like that. Okay. Yeah, you guys, come on. Come on, you can catch them. I know you can. Now, where did our hounds go? Oh, they're in here somewhere. You got them? Looks like they got them. Cool. Alright, where are you going, guys? You gonna chase them down? You should be. Should be chasing them down. Ooh, this'll work. Here we go. Now, poison him so he can't go anywhere. Good stuff. <laughs> Love it. And let's get some more hounds as well. Good. Alright, you go kill him. I'm amazed how all these heroes are all still going. Let's refuse to die. Alright, the Lord's dead. And there we go, that triggered army losses. Good stuff. Now to get ready for the Sisters of Twilight, huh? Decisive victory. Okay, excellent. So they're dead. We've made some ground, you know, in our sort of the land of our mortal enemies. Although it's not really their land, is it? They've more borrowed it, because um, what else have no right being on this continent anyway? So, let's take it. Gives them more incentive to attack us, which is nice. And obsidian quarries. Hell yeah. Banner of verminous scurrying, huh? Rituals of skittering agency allow this banner to deliver a surge of energy. Doing something, but I accidentally moved a mouse. Uh, get it? Mouse? Because it's a rat camp. It's not even a joke. I just moved the mouse and now I feel silly. Uh, did a surge of energy is the unit carrying it. Uh, that's quite cute, actually. Lowers melee defense by one because they're being electrocuted, but puts their speed way up. Certainly motivates them. Lovely. Uh, okay, throw the unclean. You can stay there, mate. I'll love you up later. So, uh, also, I've noticed that I'm getting a few dropped frames for seemingly no reason. And this can happen from time to time. So I'm just going to reboot my PC before doing the next episode. And hopefully, if you guys did notice it being a little bit, you know, not as smooth as normal, then that's why. Um, so yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.